life is unfair. It can certainly feel that way a lot of the time, especially when life isn't going as you thought it would. Plans you make never get brought up, people you meet are never seen again, and sometimes life just feels like it is against you. No matter what changes you make, it always feels that you are one step behind the rest of everyone, and that is not an uncommon feeling. Many people feel that way and it can gnaw at you because all you want is the best for yourself. But as I said, life is unfair. And Bong Joon-ho's first feature film, Barking Dogs Never Bite, released in 2000, really magnifies that statement. That is because the film follows two characters, an unemployed academic called Ko and a bookkeeper who finds a job boring called Park. These two characters are on the different spectrums of life being unfair. For Ko, he goes through the movie making bad decisions and gets away with them, never paying for the consequences, whilst the bookkeeper Park tries to live a good and honest life but gets in trouble. Ko lives with his pregnant wife Yun. They both live together within an apartment complex and their marriage seems to be on choppy waters. <laughs> Whilst living in this apartment, Ko gets annoyed by a dog that constantly keeps barking. <laughs> this leads to him killing two dogs. One of them he locked away in a cupboard and the other he threw off the apartment. Park witnessed Ko throwing the dog but could not identify him. But then to the dismay of Ko, his wife buys her own dog that he is clearly not fond of. However, what happens is he takes the dog for a walk and somehow accidentally loses it. This creates even more tension for him and his wife. And when Park finds out about this, she feels obliged to help, not knowing that she is helping the man she saw throw a dog off a building. And by the end of the movie, Ko's dog is rescued by Park and they both live happily ever after. Well, not really. Because this movie has a cynical look at life and how unfair it can be. When we look at Ko and the actions he takes and then take a look at him by the end of the movie, he is in a far better position, but compared to Park, she is worse off. At the end, Ko becomes a character that has no consequences lashed out to him. He kept his wife, never got caught for killing two dogs, and eventually became a professor at a university because he bribed the dean to give it to him. But for Park, she was a character that always tried to help out. She stopped the homeless man trying to eat Ko's dog, subsequently saving the dog, she helped the old lady to the hospital, and she tried to catch Ko after he threw the dog off the building. All the way through the movie, she tries to help, and what was her reward? No recognition. Shown by her being cut out of the news broadcast for saving Ko's dog. <laughs> and getting fired from her job. But it isn't just her that gets the short straw. Throughout the film, we see life being unfair to a majority of people. The homeless man that was caught for the killing of the two dogs was wrongfully accused. He was charged for the crimes committed by Ko. The old lady that Park helped get to the hospital dies in hospital and this was caused by the fact that Ko threw a dog off the building, which was her only companion. Then we take a look at Ko's wife Yun. She gets the sack from her job because she's pregnant and only gets $13,000 for her severance. Throughout this film, life is shown to be unfair, and Bong Joon-ho plays that cynically. Unlike his most recent film, of Parasite, which focuses on the social class and how that affects people, this film follows your normal, everyday person. There isn't anything special about these characters, they are essentially nobodies in this world. Yet life treats them all differently. That is because life can be unfair. But under the cynical nature of the story, I think the shining light throughout this film is the character of Park. Even though life throws her scenarios that most people would just ignore, she goes out of her way 
to make the people around her happy. And when life does go against her, she doesn't complain or get annoyed. She looks at the bright side and goes about living her life, shown by her finding a positive outlook at getting fired. <laughs> Bong Joon-ho's barking dogs never bite shows us how life can be unfair. It shows us that even though you try and do good, life can still give you the middle finger. But it is how you deal with those issues that define the person you will become. So, life is unfair, right?